what's up everyone eric ross the guy with the eye here uh it's been a week of basically gear reviews gear reactions a lot of things have come out i didn't necessarily want to really go into this video but i've had a you know into this uh reaction got a couple questions asking what do i think about this camera you know is it too expensive what are its main features i'm not really going to break everything down i'm just going to go over the key few features and the one thing that really does and the only thing basically that excites me about the new sony rx1 r2 full frame 35 millimeter compact camera let's talk about it So like I said, I didn't react to this right away. I didn't think there was a lot to merit here. Uh, there was one thing and I was just kind of really just looking to see uh, more information about it as more people reviewed it, as there was some test things and everything like that. And I'm going to save that main feature for last. A lot of you might already guess what it is. There's already been a lot of reviews uh, and reactions to this camera. So in November, uh, Sony's going to come out with the, um, the Sony RX1 R2, and it's a full frame uh, prime lens camera. So it's, it has a 35 millimeter uh carl zeiss uh f2 uh, meter uh lens on it so you can't change it out but you have something like that which basically reminds me of a more or less fuji s type of camera so something similar to that but probably way better quality especially going uh, obviously full frame uh the big thing is the price sucks it's 3300 dollars it is uh terribly overpriced uh i do like Sony, uh, you know, among other things, um, the price is just crap to me. So $3,300, I'm not dismissing the camera for that. I'm just saying it's priced horribly. Um, so expect that to drop significantly when no one buys it for that price. Uh, the, it's claimed to be the smallest FX camera. And it's essentially, like I mentioned, that it uh, has that prime lens. And the only other feature I really want to cover and talk about, and this is what people should be talking about more, but they're all just going on just about the sensor and it's the new Bions and blah, 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 blah. And it is the, uh, what do they call it? The optical variable low pass filter. If you don't know what that is, you may have heard it called like the AA filter, the alias filter. And essentially what it does is it protects against moray and color fringing uh, in digital cameras. And you basically in every DSLR, you have an AA filter basically blocking out certain things. I'm going to show you some examples of moray if you've never seen it, just so you could visually understand what I'm talking about because it's, it's kind of hard to describe. But, uh, you know, with uh, new cameras that are coming out, some Sony's uh, got rid of it. It's uh, There's no filter in front of it. An example of, like, the Nikon D800e, which also had it without that as well. There isn't cameras out there, there aren't cameras out there that don't, Ha that have an option to basically, you know, flick it on and flick it off. A, because none were built like that. They're either built with the filter brought in or with the filter um, brought out. And essentially, this camera is one of the first, especially that I know. If you know others, please write that down in the description below, uh, down in the comments below, that you actually have the choice on if you want it on or not. So that is something that is really awesome. And I guess that will be a huge perk in regards to the mirrorless game. Do I think DL DSLRs can do it? I don't know, and I think that's because of the way that they're built. But this is a huge thing that Sony brought out here. Once again, they're more or less innovating and moving the market. I don't care about really anything else on this camera. It will do exactly what you need. Um, but this optical variable low pass filter is great. You could basically turn it on or off or on some high kind of setting. Go straight through, hit your sensor, and you get basically the most optically clear image that you can get. And with that, you don't, you know, you will. All depending on the clothing and everything like that, you might get some moraine if you see some lines and some color things. And that's why these do this. The sensors kind of get a little, uh, you know, confused when they see this. But if you have it on, there's basically a two filter pass that the light goes through that knocks it down. So you still get fantastically clear images and without really knowing or looking at it, you would never know. Um, but it technically isn't the sharpest because you have those filters in front. That's why people like taking out the AA filters or the optical low pass filters. Now you have the ability to basically change a setting and you can turn it on or off. So now that that video ran, you kind of saw how it worked. I'm just going to show you an example more. I just Googled because I don't really deal with it a lot. Um, but it's really when you get that weird, it happens a lot with like vertical lines. Um, you know, that weird pattern, that weird texture, you can remove it in editing, but it is a pain in the butt to do. 
So there you go. There's something like that. I think the 5DSR even has it out or something like that too. So just something like that. You get there with the patterns and the weird look and the color fringing and everything. It doesn't happen all the time and it really is, it takes a big toll in regards to video as well. So just really wanted to bring that out. I think that is the biggest feature of this and I think that that needs to be talked about more than anything because of the way this could control the future. So what are your reactions below? Is this something that's justifiable to anything? Is it just another Sony thing? Or is some technology from here actually worth talking about? I think it's just one thing. It's that optical variable low pass filter. What are your thoughts down in the comments below? Uh, cool idea, terrible price, and it's just another camera.